Leute, neben mir sitzt die wunderschöne, bezaubernde Selina Gomez, Sängerin und Schauspielerin und sie beehrt heute uns hier bei Joyce. Welcome, Selina. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Nice to have you. Really nice to nice see to you. Have in you here. Say that again. It's nice to have you here. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, compliments already going yeah, back so and good. forth, but you really look beautiful. Thank you so much. I told you before, exactly like on, on in your video clips and everywhere, so, and you seem really really nice oh, just like you. you know it's always we always wonder like how to meet how it is to meet like somebody really famous and you have to talk all day and give mm. the same questions and answers all day so right. it's really nice well, that thank you're you. still <laughs> really really sympathetic so let me know how are you actually how was your day here in berlin already good um i just did the launch of my adidas neo label mm -hmm. line mm -hmm. here and it was amazing we got to the store and i got to see the actual campaign that i worked on and and the clothes that are finally out i'm actually wearing one of the little sweaters now so it's nice. it's it was fun I'm, i've had a good day so far so it looks good on you when was the last time you came to berlin or germany um i believe it was for spring breakers mm -hmm. i came with uh, the Movie. girls in yeah. harmony for the premiere so it was fun that was fun i mm -hmm. can imagine and um, i've got a little something for you afterwards so you don't forget germany that quickly oh. but no we're gonna wait okay. until the end Save, Save the, best. the best for last yes. exactly but let me congratulate on uh, your number one come and get it. Thank you. Seriously, it went to number one Billboard Play Club charge, right? And All top 40 radio. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Congrats. So thank you. Four albums later, my first number one. So I could not be more excited. I was, I think I cried like three times. <laughs> How was it like? Where did you hear it the first time? Where were you? Well, I was super early. We were in um, New York and my tour manager came in and he had the Blackberry mm -hmm. and it was the charts for the week that every musician gets. And I was barely awake, so I'm like half asleep and I'm trying to read it. And it said that I was number one and I freaked out. And I actually have the video because my, my assistant filmed me and I was, I just, I couldn't believe it. I didn't think I could do it. I, I mean, it was number two mm -hmm. and I knew that, you know, it was tough competition on top 40, but I was so excited. It was such a good, it was such a crazy moment. Because I was, I was wondering, is it like kind of when it goes to number one and everything, mm -hmm. is it kind of a relief, like uh, th that, 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 that everything that went out and what you were working on and everything is a success? Or were you really confident? It's funny to hear you now that you thought you weren't going to make it. Yeah, no, I, def I mean, it's not that I, I'm not confident. I, I believe in my music mm -hmm. and I love my music a lot. But it's just, you know, after four albums, you know, it's not, it makes, it humbles you a little bit more. That's why I didn't okay. expect it because okay. I I did have I have had great singles from you know naturally naturally love you like a love song but to have this one be my number one is just like it's just a good feeling. Congrats! Thank like, you. Yep, Yay. all the hard work and sweat paid <laughs> <Hate> off. <laughs> good job, very nice, really nice. Um, tell us a little bit also about what is going on on the album music wise as well. What can we expect? Nineteenth, right? Uh, July you, over here. Oh yes, yes that's yes, right. Yes, yes. Here, yeah. I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. No, this Where record. Am I? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. What time is it? Actually, this uh, this record, I put my entire heart and soul into it. This is the fourth one. I feel like I've finally discovered the sound that I want. Mm -hmm. um, it was really fun for me to kind of play with different sounds, uh, d like the tribal vibe for Come and Get It, dubstep, um, a little bit of like an acoustic Spanish-y guitar feel. So I just kind of threw in everything that I felt would make a really powerful dance record. And, and I think that's what, you know, I think that's what came together perfectly. Video clip, Come and Get It. So sexy. Thank you. So beautiful. Thank I would love you. to be able to, to work my hips like that. And the whole <laughs> dancing and everything, beautiful, really beautiful. Hate the way I love you all day, all night. Maybe I'm addicted for life. No lie. I'm not too shy to show I love you. I got no regrets. I love you much too, much too hard you. This love ain't finished yet. 
Where did all of that happen actually? So much nature around it and stuff. Yeah, it was beautiful. It was actually two hours outside of LA. Um, so it was a two hour drive and it was it was really stunning. The fields were gorgeous. It's funny though, because the video did come out absolutely gorgeous. I loved how it was mm. shot. But when I was there, it was not glamorous at all because I'm laying in like grass as they're checking for snakes and I'm like, <gasps> like laying down. Yes, they were checking for snakes and I'm oh. trying to be all like sexy and trying to do it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm stepping on all this stuff. And I had like bugs and stuff in my hair. Yeah. So it actually wasn't that glamorous, but it looked glamorous, which is all that matters. In the end, right? Yes. But us girl snakes and creepy crawlings. Oh yeah, my I was God. Like, yeah. I would have been screaming all the time, yeah. thinking that things were going to go over I my head. Oh, no. gosh. I was like, oh. Ooh. Yeah.